Welcome to my studio here at Precious Cooking 2797 South Maryland Parkway Suite 21. Hi, this is Chef Ria again and thank you for joining me today. Today, I would like to share you more recipes that can be prepared quick, easy, and most of all healthier because if it's not made with Salad Master, it's not made with love. So let's get cooking! Today, we're gonna do some shopao in Filipino, shopao. So first of all, we're gonna prepare our dough, okay? The recipe for this is we have five cups of flour. We have one half cup of sugar. And of course, our uh, for to rice the bread, I mean, your your dough is your yeast. So I have two teaspoons of yeast and we're gonna put a little bit of sugar there. So we're gonna leave that for a few minutes and then we're gonna stir it. And we're gonna put our baking powder here to our, our flour. And we're gonna use our mixer. If you guys don't have a mixer, you can still use it at uh, your hand. But I'm gonna use my mixer here. Okay. So I'm gonna put all my flour here. And six tablespoons of shortening. Okay. And then two cups of lukewarm water so that you can dissolve the yeast before you even put it to your flour. So that was a half cup of sugar. I'm gonna leave it there. So let's uh, just stir this a little so that it dissolves all the yeast. Okay, put this together. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our yeast water to our flour. There you go. We're gonna turn this thing on. So this, after we mix all together, we're gonna put it, I mean, we're gonna leave it for two hours because we will double the size, okay? And of course, you're gonna need some parchment paper because we're gonna make a bowl, like a bowl. And of course, our filling, which is our chicken, you can do pork, beef, whatever you want. But I made some chicken here already. And then we're gonna turn on the, our seven quart wok so that we can start steaming later. So there, just uh, mix all your dough and then we're gonna leave it there for two hours and we'll come back and we'll start doing our, our shopao. But before that, I'm gonna start my sauce because we want to put some, I mean, we want some sauce for our shopao. So our, my recipe for the sauce is we have soy sauce, cornstarch, uh, uh, salt, garlic, onions, and of course beef broth. Two cups of beef broth and don't forget our anise, which is uh, two flour and uh, four tablespoons of water. Because we're gonna dissolve our cornstarch together. I'm gonna turn this thing on. And we're gonna put our beef broth, two cups of beef broth. There you go. Now we're gonna put our anise there, just for the flavor. Okay. So going back here, 
Now look at our dough now. It's ready to put it under. It's better to put it under, I mean, in your oven. But don't turn it on because in the oven it's warm. So let, let this sit for two hours and you will see it double the size, okay? Here's the one that I did. So I let it sit there for two hours. Now it looks, it's gonna be look like this, okay? You already double the size. So this is your dough. Then we're gonna start making it. At first, I'm gonna turn on our stove. So I'm using my seven quart wok. Of course, we're gonna put some water because we need to steam this. We steam it about 10 minutes. Okay. Let's just leave that. And there's my spoon. Stir this. And here's my filling, which is our chicken. So here's the chicken that I made. I already prepared it. So you can do pork, you can do beef, whatever you want. You can do that. So I'm going to put our soy sauce here. Salt to taste. And of course our half of onions. And we're going to Cut it finely. Okay, this is our onions. We'll put that on the side. I'm gonna put this and of course our garlic. Three cloves of garlic and chop it finely. Okay, that's while our sauce is cooking. I'm gonna Start making our shupao. Okay. We're gonna put this last, which is our cornstarch. So I'm gonna put it too low so that I can start making my shupao. So I'm gonna put this on the side. Okay. it here my gloves here so we can start making it so with the five um, five cups of flour it makes about two dozen of show pow okay it depends how big you want it okay so here's our stuff. So we're gonna get some of our dough here. And I'll let it here so that you guys can see it. And I'm, oh, I forgot my spoon. Bear with me, spoon, spoon. I put a spoon. I'll change that because I touched my stuff. Okay, I change my gloves. So with with the chicken, I just uh, cook it with onions, ginger, 
I have a green onion, also soy sauce. It is like making adobo, chicken adobo. So here, put it like this. Here you go. And we're gonna put the parchment paper so that it's easier to us when we're taking it up from the pan. Okay, Just like that. Let it rise for a few minutes before we even put it to our steamer. So show pow it's good for snack or serve it with your guests when you have some guests coming over and this is also good for the children very easy here instead of buying your own show pow you can make show pow at your home very easy Right there. It's easy, right, guys? Look. Let's make it nice and round. Here. And make some more. Some more of the chicken. Mm, there. There you go. That's think the if you wanna make it a little bit smaller, that's fine, but this one it's perfectly nice and beautiful for the size. Because I can eat five of this not. <laughs> Okay, there's your stuff. So we need to leave, I mean, let it rise for a few minutes. And then you steam it for about 10 minutes in our steamer. There you go. See, very easy guys, very easy, right? This is how you do it. You can control what you put in your food, so it's better, it's better to eat at home and make your own food. Look. You can also freeze it, and then the next day you can just heat them up, because you can make a lot of this with the one one batch, which is the five five cups of flour. You can make about two dozen if it's a little bit smaller. But this one I'm making now uh, kind of big, but it's okay. And just freeze it, and then when you have some visitors coming in or you just want you feel like want to eat show pow defrost from your freezer and heat them steam it again or you can even put it in your microwave there one more so i can go back to our sauce there put it more Put some more of that. Tastes better. Here you go. This is okay. 
okay. Let me just do this here. See how easy it is, guys. Very, very easy, quick meal. So if you guys trying to save money, all I spend in here is about maybe less than $20. Because I know how much the, they charge you when you buy show pow at the store. I think about $3 each. This at least you get a bunch of them and freeze it and eat it for the next day or you can leave it to the in the freezer for a few days even one week it still come out not, I mean come out taste as good as you just made it there we go it's our chicken Also, you can also, another one that you can make too. I don't know if you guys know the Chinese sausage, which is called lap chong. You can cut it in half and you can just put it there and steam it. We always buy that when I was back home in Hawaii. I was just in high school. There's this Manapua man used to sell those to us. Now I know how to make my own. Here, there we go. See, there's a lot up there. So look, there's two more that we can make. Let's. With this recipe, you can also do custard bun. You know that they sell it at the Chinese restaurant. You guess all another idea you can do. Or you can also bake this. You can bake bake shopao. Or we call that in the Hawaii manapua. Bake manapua. There we go. There's easy, right? Here. So there's a lot of show power. Let's put it in the side. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put this in our steamer because it's ready now. Look, it's steamer now. Oh. We're gonna put very careful because it's very hot. There we go. So we're gonna just put that on that. We're gonna cover it and steam it for 10 minutes, okay? While we're doing that, we're gonna leave that on the side. And of course, our sauce. Okay, so. While we're stirring that, here we go. We're gonna take out this now so that I can put my <clears throat> excuse me. There's the steamer. Take out that. So I'm gonna put our corn tart and water. This is about two spoon of 
2 tablespoon of water. There. Okay, so we're just going to make it thicker. And this is for your sauce, for your xiao pao. That's very easy, right? So we'll be back and then we'll show you how the xiao pao came out. So we'll be right back. Now it smells like show power already. Oh, there you go. Here. So 10 minutes in your steamer. There. Oh, wow. Look at that. There you go. Now we're going to put the other batch. There, because we have more here. Make sure you have enough water there so that you don't burn your pot. There. So just cover it and then steam it for 10 minutes. So here's our show pao. Very easy, right? And now our sauce. Get one of this. Can plate it. Get this yes. serve your sauce and you can this is better you, you serve it hot you eat it hot so that it's more yummy yummy in our tummy there we go we're ready to eat this is our show pao next week we're Come back again and join us. This is Chef Ria here at Precious Cooking, 2797 South Maryland Parkway, Suite 21. Till then, thank you again for joining me and I'll see you guys next week.